All right, let's get underway. This is module one uh, for the financial statement analysis class. And we're going to jump off to a quick start looking at an introduction to financial accounting and financial statements. The module one content comes from Coursera. There are three topics that are covered in this module and they're all from the same Coursera course. It's called Financial Accounting Fundamentals, taught by Professor Urkan from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. The three specific topics are the week one, two, and three topics in the Coursera course, introduction to financial accounting, recording transactions and financial statement preparation, and fundamental accounting concepts. First topic is introduction to financial accounting. Decision makers, both inside and outside the firm, require relevant and reliable information to support their decision making. Accounting is an important source of information for managerial decisions. In this module, you'll learn that accounting information and accounting statements provide users needed information. There are four basic financial statements, the balance sheet, income statement, statement of cash flow, and the statement of shareholders equity, each with valuable information about the firm from different vantage points. The learning objectives are first, understand what is accounting information, Two, identify users of accounting information and the types of information they need. And three, identify the main financial statements, the type of information contained, and how they are related to each other. The contents will include videos, practice quizzes, and some reading. The estimated time for completion of this week one is three hours. The second week of Coursera material is recording transactions and financial statement preparation. You will learn the process and principles of recording financial transactions, including examples of specific steps of recording and summarizing transactions. You will also learn the differences between accrual and cash accounting. The learning objectives are one, understand the process and concepts behind recording financial statements Two, record transactions in an organized approach. We're going to use a template, which is simulating an accounting system. Three, summarize the transactions in order to prepare financial statements. And four, differentiate between accrual and cash basis accounting. Now, I'll pause that for a moment because you might be saying, are you turning us into accountants? No, not at all. But you'll learn that it's important to know where the numbers come from. So behind that comes how transactions hit the financial statements in different places and also the principles under which they are prepared. So that's why we have to do a little bit of this fairly detailed work to understand the mechanics of how accounting systems work and also the principles that guide the recording of transactions. So that's why we have to bear with a little bit of detail in the first couple of modules in order to get that groundwork so we can finally do the good stuff, which is to look at statements as the end product of that process and be able to understand where they come from and also what's good and bad information inside those statements. I know it sounds weird that there's bad information, but I'll just hold that for now. Just know that we're going to be sorting out the different types of information and which ones are more reliable as accurate and as opposed to others. The content in this week's material are also videos, practice quizzes, some reading, estimated time for completion is 2.5 hours. The third topic is generally accepted accounting principles. Fundamental accounting concepts and revenue recognition principles are at the heart of coding financial transactions in the accounting language, as well as preparing the statements from these coded financial transactions. I say coded because we have accountings, which are entries. Essentially, they're like entries into a database. And the code is very specific so that we know how to summarize that into different reports and different analyses. So the accounting code or the accounting chart of accounts is an essential part of how things work. Real life transactions are reflected in financial statements through the lens of these accounting principles. A good understanding of these concepts and principles will help you understand the type and nature of information you can learn from the financial statements. The learning objectives are one, identify the fundamental accounting principles, two, differentiate between accruals and deferrals. That might sound confusing to you at this moment, but hopefully after this module, you understand, oh yes, that's a deferral, or yes, that's an accrual. Third is to appreciate the importance of conservatism principle. And fourth is apply revenue recognition criteria on various financial transactions. Again, the content here are videos, practice quizzes, some reading, 
estimate time for completion is 1.1 hours. So are you ready to start? Follow the learning path in my courses and I will see you at our office hours. Remember to make a note of any questions you may have during your studies or as you just think about things in general about financial statements or financial reporting. So I'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye.